guys, Naomi here. Welcome back to my channel. So usually around this time of the year, I would do my top beauty favorites. But last year, I actually did my beauty empties instead. And I figured maybe this time I would combine them together. And I am sitting on the ground right now because there's like a lot of products. And I have divided them into different categories just like before. And there will be products that I have talked about in my previous video. So in that case, I'm just going to put some type of label on screen so you can check out my previous video I will link it down in the description box and also in the cards up here so yeah without further ado let's get started so the first category is gonna be hair because I only have two products here this is the Batiste dry shampoo I I think I've gone through so many cans of this and the second one is this camellia oil or also known as subaki oil you can use it for your skin and also for your hair I'm gonna move on to the biggest category which is skincare and I'm gonna start with facial wash. The first one I have here is the Kanebo Evita Beauty Whip Soap. This is a rose-shaped foam cleanser. So you just press this and then the foam will appear looking like a rose just like this one. This used to be really popular and it contains royal jelly extract and even rose water. And the foam is actually really thick. It kind of almost feels like a shaving cream to be honest i don't really like this cleanser because it's a little bit drying but if you're looking for a good japanese cleanser i would recommend the cow one i think it's called cow because the brand is called cow <laughs> Um, I have featured this in my Japan haul before but yeah I finally finished it it's actually really nice it's fragrance free and it's very good for people who has dry skin next category will be toners and essences all right so the first one I have here is the one step original clear pads by Cos RX so when I first got this I'm not really a fan but once I figured out how to use it correctly it really does exfoliate my skin nicely because it does contain a little bit of salicylic acid in it one thing I have to say though I don't really enjoy the fact that it comes with the pad I know that's like the whole point of it but personally I don't really like that because there's so much product wasted but other than that I don't really have a problem with this one next I have another exfoliating acid toner this is a mandelic acid 5% by wish trend yes I was sent this product to try but to be honest at the time I was not really educated with AHA and BHA I actually mixed it with my vitamin C serum which is a big no-no but over the years I learned so much about acid treatments especially AHA and BHA thanks to skincare by Hiram and other beauty youtubers so my thought on this product is actually a pretty decent chemical exfoliant especially if you're new to it because this is mandelic acid it's only five percent and from my understanding mandelic acid is considered the milder one compared to like glycolic and other acid treatment but just a heads up it does give a little bit of tingling sensation when you first applied it but that's completely Completely normal so yeah that's my thought on this one all right next I've talked about this product so many times it is the Labo Labo Super Kiana lotion I really like this one even though it says lotion it's actually an AHA toner this one is pretty gentle so I use this usually in the morning and yeah I've talked about this so many times so I'm just gonna skip through that <laughs> next we have my newest obsession this is the Pyongkang Yul mist toner I really really like this mist toner I even got this in a bigger size and yeah it's a very comfortable toner it only has seven ingredients it's very calming and it's very hydrating it works really well on top of makeup as well so if you have dry skin definitely check this one out all right let's move on to essences the first one I have here is the SK2 facial treatment essence you guys know I love this product but I'm currently running out and due to pandemic I cannot get myself a new one a bit sad but oh well um, the next essence I have is the Hera which what is this the Hera cell essence as far as essences go I still prefer the SK2 one compared to Hera I know they cannot be compared because they're targeting different needs I feel like the Hera is more on the hydrating side of essence and it really does make a difference i i mean like compared to sk2 this one is definitely more hydrating but sk2 is more for brightening and evening out your skin tone and all that so i prefer this but i think if you're just looking for a hydrating essence 
there are far better and also cheaper essences than Hera but nonetheless this is a pretty good essence as well now before we move down to serums I want to talk about a specific product because it comes in a set like this and I finally finished them this is from Sohasu I first heard about them from Mitch Moose here on YouTube she recommended this for people who has dry skin now this one is the activating serum the balancing water and also the balancing emulsion my mom got this for me in Korea and I think it retails around like $200 or something for all three I can't really remember but yeah it's quite expensive now is it really good for people who has dry skin well yes it is very moisturizing but is it necessary to have all three no and for me the one that stand out the most is the activating serum it applies really nicely all of the product has this like herbally like ginseng smell to it i would say uh but yeah i definitely recommend this one the balancing emulsion is also pretty good it's one of like the most moisturizing emulsion that i use but then again if you don't really have the budget i would just say like skip this and go straight to moisturizer the balancing water is just meh for me because it has it has a watery texture but it's thicker but it's not gel so it's like in between water and gel so it's like kind of confusing for me and most of the time i kind of skip it so yeah I, i'm not really a fan of the water but the serum is definitely my favorite all right let's move on to serums the first one i have here is the obaji vitamin c serum so this contains five percent l-ascorbic acid and also vitamin e which from my understanding vitamin c and vitamin e actually works wonder to like fight free radicals and also acts as an antioxidant unfortunately this is slightly pricey for the size but you only need a few drops for your entire face and neck so yeah it's actually a pretty good vitamin c so i recommend this the next two serums are from The Ordinary. This one is the Buffet and this one is the Niacinamide. 10% plus zinc 1%. Both serums are actually pretty good considering their price point but personally I don't really see a huge difference when I wear this. For me the Buffet is just like a hydrating serum. I know they are marketed as an anti-aging like serum or something but maybe because i haven't used this in a long run so yeah that's the buffet now for niacinamide i don't really see a huge difference on me but when i gave this to my mom she actually really really liked this and she said that it really does minimize the appearance of her fine lines but yeah if you have oily skin and struggles with acne definitely check this one out Next category will be moisturizers and masks. All right, I'm gonna start off this category with something that I'm really, really excited about. This is probably not considered moisturizer, but you can actually use this as a moisturizer. It is the Great Barrier Relief by Crave Beauty. Oh my God, that is such a tongue twister for me. Great Barrier Relief. Blah. Now I'm sure all of you guys who are a skincare junkie know what this is all about. Out of all Crave Beauty products, this is like my favorite favorite thing. It contains tamanu oil, safflower oil, rosehip oil, vitamin B3 which is like niacinamide, ceramide, pytosterol, and NMF. I don't know what that is this is very moisturizing especially if you have dry skin and also irritated skin it also calming your skin and it also repairs your skin barrier which is the part that i really really love about this product i actually brought this with me last year when i went to japan during the winter time and it just saved my skin when i was there next i have three moisturizers here this one is the curel intense moisture cream and this one is the nameraka home photo new isofurabon cream so yeah i love these two products and this one is the crave beauty oat so simple cream now i really really want to love this especially that the ingredients are really simple and straightforward and it is also made from oat and my skin reacts really well with oats in general previously when i have like skin irritation i would just like uh, use oatmeal mask and really does calm down the redness i think this moisturizer is really good for those of you who has oily skin and acne prone skin and also for those of you who are new at skincare who are looking for a simple non-greasy and non-sticky moisturizer this one is for you but for me this is not thick enough 
Next is this Laneige Sika sleeping mask. I've done a separate video of this product where I tried it for 7 days straight. So I'm gonna leave the link of that video in the description box below so that we can move on to the next product. Next, I have two masks here with me. This one is the Kose Cosme Port Eye Mask. You can actually use this on like uh, the mouth area as well. So this one has 32 pairs of eye masks. It contains retinol derivative and also collagen and hyaluronic acid. So it's actually really good eye mask. But I have to deduct a few points because of the packaging. This packaging makes the eye mask dries out pretty quickly because it doesn't really close up like perfectly you know it's just looking like that so yeah that's the only bad thing about this mask other than that it's actually pretty good and it's quite affordable as well next i have this saborino morning mask and i have a few things to say about this product firstly i want to start by saying this is a very innovative product you literally just wake up and apply this for one minute and you're good to go because it acts as a cleansing agent and also moisturizer and a makeup base but yeah i don't know i still enjoy that like step-by-step -step skincare in the morning when i first tried this product i was a little bit shocked by how minty the sheet mask feel on my skin and also it is heavily fragranced as well so yeah i probably wouldn't purchase this anymore but if you're someone who tend to rush in the morning this is probably a product that you need because it's very practical we are finally down to the last category which is body care and i have a bunch of body lotions here with me and if they are in a tube has been butchered like so <laughs> i've been using the nivea one this is for nighttime and this is for daytime because it has vitamin c serum and also a little bit of spf which is good for daytime and then this one is the clarins what is it clarins moisture rich body lotion so this is actually a gift from my mom and it smells really good but it is quite pricey so i wouldn't repurchase it myself but the one that i've been loving is this too this one is the vaseline intensive care this is the rich version this is pretty lightweight considering that it is for people who has extremely dry skin it actually spread easily all over my body so i like that and another one that i've been loving is this avino skin relief moisturizing lotion and i believe this is for the drier skin because they have the one in a different color which is for normal skin or something like that so this one contains triple oat complex which like i mentioned before my skin reacts really well with oat the consistency 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 oh my god the consistency is slightly thicker than the Vaseline one but it really does relieve the itchiness that I get whenever I don't moisturize properly so yeah, I highly recommend this one and the last item from today's video is this L'Occitane shower oil initially I don't really want to purchase this because it is quite pricey but my brother actually got this for me and I finally finished it after like a few years because I've been saving it up for a special occasion it smells pretty good it does smell like almond oil and the smell does linger for quite some time it does give a very luxurious experience when you shower and even though it says oil it doesn't feel oily it works like a cleansing oil in a sense but i bought this initially because i heard that this is good for dry skin other than the whole uh, luxurious experience it doesn't really do much so i probably wouldn't repurchase this but it makes a good gift for someone all right guys that is all from me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel now i know i've been bad at posting lately but i'm more active on tiktok and instagram so if you would like to please follow me there so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye bye Mwah.